In the bustling heart of Rivian's electric vehicle factory, a worker's life took a dangerous turn. The factory, known for its cutting-edge technology and rapid production pace, was a hive of activity. Amidst the clamor and hum of machinery, a heavy object fell, striking the worker's head and leaving them with a fractured skull. The incident sent shockwaves through the workforce, highlighting the ever-present dangers in such an environment. This incident, unfortunately, wasn't isolated. It was a stark reminder of the risks that workers face daily. Conversations about safety became more urgent, yet the underlying issues remained unaddressed. It was a grim sign of what many workers whisper about, a workplace where safety is often an afterthought. Despite the advanced technology and modern facilities, the human element of safety seemed to lag behind. This factory, a beacon of innovation in the electric vehicle industry, holds the promise of a greener future. It symbolizes progress and the shift towards sustainable transportation. But behind the sleek facades of electric cars, a darker story is unfolding. The relentless drive for efficiency and output often overshadows the need for stringent safety measures. A story where workers, driven by the same goals of progress and sustainability, are paying a steep price. The physical and emotional toll on these individuals is immense as they strive to meet demanding production targets. They are risking their well-being in the name of a greener tomorrow. The question remains, at what cost? As the world looks towards a sustainable future, the sacrifices of these workers must not be overlooked. Their safety and health should be paramount, ensuring that the path to progress does not come at the expense of human lives. The numbers paint a stark picture. Rivian has accumulated a worrying number of safety violations, surpassing those of established automakers in their early years. This raises serious questions about the company's commitment to worker safety. Are they prioritizing speed and production over the well-being of their workforce? Incidents of crushed fingers, broken bones, and even amputations have been reported at Rivian's facilities. These injuries are not just statistics. They represent real pain, suffering, and long-term consequences for workers and their families. The human cost of these accidents is immeasurable. One worker, rushing to meet production demands, slipped on a patch of oil. The result was a broken ankle, weeks of lost wages, and the lingering fear of another accident. Another worker, lifting a heavy component, suffered a debilitating back injury that could plague them for years to come. These stories whispered among workers and shared cautiously reveal a pattern of negligence. The stories paint a chilling picture of a workplace where safety shortcuts are commonplace. Workers describe a culture of fear, where speaking up about hazards can lead to intimidation or even job loss. This climate of silence allows unsafe practices to continue, putting everyone at risk. In a particularly disturbing incident, a worker was overcome by fumes on the factory floor, collapsing and vomiting bile. This incident exposed the lack of adequate ventilation and respiratory protection in certain areas of the plant. It highlighted how workers are exposed to potentially hazardous materials without proper safeguards. This incident served as a wake-up call, but it shouldn't take such a drastic event to prompt action. The emphasis should be on preventing such incidents from happening in the first place. Worker safety should never be an afterthought, but rather an integral part of every decision made on the factory floor. Section 5. The High Cost of Cutting Corners The drive to dominate the electric vehicle market seems to be taking precedence over the well-being of those building Rivian's vehicles. The pressure to meet production targets, satisfy investors, and outpace competitors is immense. However, this pressure should never come at the cost of worker safety. Cutting corners on safety might seem like a way to save money in the short term, but the long-term costs are far greater. Accidents lead to lawsuits, worker compensation claims, and lost productivity. More importantly, they shatter lives and leave families struggling to cope with the aftermath. Section 6. The Silent Plight of Injured Workers Many injured workers at Rivian face an uphill battle. Some fear retaliation for reporting injuries, while others struggle to access adequate medical care and support. The company's response to these incidents often falls short, leaving workers feeling unheard and undervalued. The power imbalance between a multi-billion dollar corporation and an injured worker is vast. Workers often feel pressured to return to work before they are fully recovered, risking further injury. 
Their voices are lost in the clamor for profits and production, their stories silenced in the name of corporate image. Section 7. The Illusion of Safety. Rivian, like many corporations, boasts about its commitment to safety. They hold meetings, give out awards, and make grand statements about their dedication to keeping their employees safe. However, the reality on the factory floor tells a different story. Workers often find themselves in hazardous conditions, with overcrowded spaces and insufficient safety measures. Safety slogans ring hollow when they are not backed up by concrete actions and a genuine concern for worker well-being. Posters and signs can only do so much if the underlying issues are not addressed. True safety is not about posters and slogans, it's about creating a culture where safety is everyone's responsibility. This means regular training, open communication, and a genuine commitment from all levels of the organization. The disconnect between corporate rhetoric and the lived experiences of workers breeds cynicism and distrust. When workers see a gap between what is promised and what is delivered, they lose faith in the system. When workers see safety violations ignored and their concerns dismissed, they become disillusioned. They feel that their voices are not heard and that their safety is not a priority. They stop believing in the company's commitment to their well-being, leading to a decline in morale and, ultimately, productivity. This disengagement can have serious consequences, not just for the workers, but for the overall success of the company. To bridge this gap, companies need to take real, tangible steps to ensure safety. This includes listening to workers' concerns, addressing hazards promptly, and fostering an environment where safety is truly valued. When workers feel safe and valued, they are more engaged, more productive, and more likely to contribute positively to the company's success. True safety is a collective effort that benefits everyone. Section 8. A growing industry, a growing problem. The issues at Rivian are not unique. As the electric vehicle industry booms, the demand for rapid production and innovation is intense. This pressure can lead to shortcuts and compromises, often at the expense of worker safety. The race to electrify transportation must not come at the cost of human health and well-being. This is a critical moment for the EV industry. It can choose to prioritize profits over people, perpetuating a cycle of exploitation and neglect. Or it can choose a different path, one where worker safety is paramount and the benefits of a green economy are shared by all. Section 9. The Need for a Culture Shift Addressing the safety crisis in EV manufacturing requires a fundamental culture shift. Companies must move beyond lip service and implement comprehensive safety programs that prioritize worker well-being. They need to foster an environment where workers feel empowered to report hazards without fear of retaliation. This cultural transformation requires a top-down approach. CEOs and executives must champion worker safety, not just in words, but in actions. They need to allocate adequate resources for safety training, equipment, and personnel. This commitment to safety must be unwavering, even when it means slowing down production or delaying deadlines. Section 10. Towards a safer future for EV manufacturing. Creating a safer future for EV manufacturing requires a multi-pronged approach. Stronger government regulations and oversight are essential to hold companies accountable. Independent investigations into accidents and near misses can help identify systemic issues and prevent future tragedies. Workers themselves must have a stronger voice in ensuring their own safety. Unions and worker advocacy groups play a crucial role in advocating for better working conditions, negotiating for safer practices, and providing support to injured workers. Section 11. The Price of Progress the transition to electric vehicles is essential for a sustainable future. As we move towards a greener planet, the importance of reducing our carbon footprint cannot be overstated. However, this progress must not come at the cost of worker safety. The individuals who are at the heart of this revolution deserve our utmost respect and protection. The lives and well-being of those building the vehicles of tomorrow are just as important as the vehicles themselves. Every bolt tightened and every wire connected is a testament to their dedication and hard work. We must demand better for these workers. Their voices need to be heard and their concerns addressed. It's not just about the end product but the journey and the people who make it possible. Their safety, their health and their dignity must be prioritized. 
and their livelihoods are not negotiable. Comprehensive health checkups and stringent safety guidelines should be the norm, not the exception. The true measure of progress is not just about technological advancement,